Hello and welcome to Katap. As you probably know, and you should, Katap is one of the few copywriters that fact checks their outputs. So everything that you get through Katap, and namely Katap Plus, is fact checked. So today's tutorial is going to be about Katap Plus, which you can access from your dashboard. See this on fire button pulsing here. So this is where you go. And once you open the sidebar, you can see that you have quite a few options. You can choose your language. English is the default one. You can choose the number of variations. Let's choose three, for example. Then you have the brief description field when you input your queries. You can choose your geography and Katab will produce the output based on the country that you have chosen. Then the tone of voice, the default one is matter of fact, but you can choose optimistic, professional, and I like the professional one in most of my use cases. Then the point of view, I will leave it at third person and we will start with paragraph. And since this is a fact checking machine, what best way to prove that than by going to Google Trends? And this is actually one of my favorite use cases here and picking and choosing something that has happened very recently. We can see that apparently there was a game between Aston Villa and Liverpool, and we won't know the score until we read the article, but let's try and test Katab with this information. And I will just put Aston Villa versus Liverpool score, and I'll let Katab do the rest. So let's place generate and I'll even take this box here that produces relevant high quality photos. So let's do this. And if you don't like the picture, you can click on it, click on more suggestions and choose another one. So I like this one better. And let's check the facts. So on a Monday, the 26th, Liverpool secured a convincing 3 to 1 win against Aston Villa. So we need to remember the 3 to 1 score. Then the scorers were Mohamed, Virgil van Dijk, or whatever, and Steven. I won't be butchering his surname. So <laughs> let's just remember Mohamed, Virgil, and Stefan. Let's go to the actual article. Aston Villa highlights it is it was a three to one victory. So this part Katap got 100% correct. Then we have the, our scores, which were the Mohammed guy, then Virgil, and then Stefan, who sealed the deal. So we can see that everything is factually accurate. And we have three variations to choose from. And from this Step here, you have a few options. You can proofread your output, which I won't be doing right now, but another option is to enrich or complete. So if you, if you feel that, let's just choose the first one as an example. And if we feel that we want some additional content, we'll just highlight the last sentence. We'll press enrich and Katap will produce another piece of factually correct information. And here we have some dialogue between the two scorers and so there was some exchange between them. And another option that I like is that you can create, this is a paragraph, but you can make it into a listicle. And this is great if you want to write a full blown article. So this listicle can become part of your outline that you will then build upon. So here's our listicle on a choose the Liverpool Drew level with Manchester City, the Reds, Liverpool had previously won five consecutive. Aston Villa battle back, the match ended with a final score of one, two, three. And we, again, we got three generations here. Let's clear the field and let's make it into the FAQ. And here is our FAQ. So question, what was the score of Aston Villa versus Liverpool? The score was three to one in favor of Liverpool. Who were the goal scorers in the match? Mohamed, Virgil, Stefan. When did the match take place? It took place on December the 26th. So everything seems to be correct. And let's try to make it into an email. And this is the email that Katab generated. Dear all, this is to inform you that Liverpool secured a 3-1 victory over Aston Villa. 
and yeah just a very nice email and let's try a variation of that and this is more detailed uh, Liverpool hopes to contribute their climb towards the top four when the Premier League returns on Boxing Day and yeah I actually like this one better it has a little bit more meat but it only took a few seconds to regenerate the email so this is how easy it is with Katap and yeah so these were my favorite use cases again you can fact check everything you can use Google Trends to spot trending topics that are that have to be factually checked for example we have the Premier League matches we have the Phoenix Suns game we have the Nets game we have the Chargers game and what you can do is to use Google Trends to see what is currently trending and produce high quality fact checked articles based on that so let me know if you found this video helpful like share subscribe if you haven't already and welcome to Katap.